Professor Dave and Chegg here. Now that we know about alkynes, it's time to learn about some reactions they can do. So let's examine some options for performing hydration on alkynes now. One method for hydrating an alkyne is to use aqueous acid in the presence of mercury 2 sulfate as a Lewis acid catalyst. This will result in a Markovnikov hydration, leaving a hydroxyl on the more substituted carbon of the two, if applicable. But of course, since an alkyne has two pi bonds, and only one pi bond will react, one pi bond will remain, and we are left with what is called an enol, since it is both an alkene and an alcohol, and en plus all gives us enol. The interesting thing about enols is that they tend to undergo a process called tautomerization. This is the enol tautomer, and it will interconvert with the keto tautomer automatically, simply by transferring a hydrogen to the adjacent carbon. This is not considered an actual chemical reaction, but simply a rearrangement, like a carbocation rearrangement, and the keto tautomer is favored for thermodynamic reasons, as the bond energies are greater in this configuration due to the more polar and thus more stable carbon-oxygen bonds, thereby bringing the system to a lower energy. It is important to note that in situations where both carbons in the triple bond are secondary carbons, which will be the case for any internal alkyne, there will be a mixture of products as neither carbon will be preferred as the site of the carbocation in the intermediate. Therefore, this technique is preferred for terminal alkynes, since the regiochemistry can then be easily controlled. Another method of hydrating alkynes is via hydroboration oxidation, which we already learned about in the context of alkenes. So we know that this reaction gives us the anti-Markovnikov hydration product. In the context of alkynes, this will not matter for an internal alkyne, as again, there can be no basis for regiospecificity, and we get the enol just as we would expect, followed by tautomerization to get the ketone. But for a terminal alkyne, we will get something specific. Since this reaction is anti-Markovnikov, we will get the hydroxyl on the less substituted carbon, so we get this enol, and then tautomerization will yield the aldehyde. So we now have two options in terms of hydrating a terminal alkyne. If we want the methyl ketone, we can use aqueous acid and mercury 2 sulfate or if we want the aldehyde, we can use hydroboration oxidation. That gives us a few more tools in our synthetic toolkit regarding alkynes. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.